This is season three of The Score, the Team Roping Journal's regular podcast where the team roping world talks. We've told the stories of some of the greatest cowboys, horses, and moments in the sport, and we're so far from done. In 2020, we'll bring you more of what you've come to expect, like interviews with the best cowboys and cowgirls we know, and we'll dive even deeper into subjects you care about. Look for more audio editions of the Team Roping Journal stories you might have missed in print, and learn about the great horses shaping the sport and great challenges facing our industry. All this and more in 2020. I'm Chelsea Schaefer. Trey Yates, the 2018 Wrangler National Finals Rodeo Average Champ from Pueblo, Colorado, has lived and breathed team roping his entire life. So with COVID-19's great pause gripping the world, Trey is taking this time in this first ever downtime to hone his mental focus without the rat race of pro rodeo and jackpots. On this audio roping lesson, Yates is going to talk you through how he's approaching his practices so that he's fresh and sharp when the ropings and rodeos start back up soon. Hope you're getting something out of this. We'll talk to you soon. Hey guys, Trey Yates here. Well, I know we're all uh, kind of in a weird place in this world. Uh, almost feels like the the nation's come to a halt. Uh, the whole world's going through a weird phase with this COVID nineteen and. You know, the not only has it affected the roping and the rodeo industry, but the nation's economy and, and everything. So all we can do is pray and hope that with the right medicines and and uh, right guidance in this nation, in this world, that uh, everything will get back on our, we'll get all get back on our feet and get things back to normal, back to rodeoing and get people their jobs back and life will go forward but uh anyway so that being said there's been a lot of downtime and and uh, I'm sure a lot of people are roping a lot and that's good and uh I think one of the things that we need to work on that Dylan Parker and I found practicing the last two or three weeks that's important is uh is staying focused and I think it's a good time to work on your mind game I think what we caught ourselves doing, we were roping a lot and riding all our horses and everything was going good. But after, at some point, we just kind of lost focus and and it made it hard to to stay sharp all day. And uh, that being said, we, we kind of, we, we made sure our, our young horses that were a little further along were sharp and we were roping sharp and we might only run two or three steers and then we'd put it up, you know. Uh, I think that's this is a time to to really work on that. If you're roping good and your horse is working good and you run three or four, four or five steers and everything feels good, you know, just keep just keep that that going. You know, every day, every other day, keep your horse in shape and then when things come back to normal and the ropings and the rodeos start again, I think that uh we'll have something to look forward to. We'll you know, our horse will be sharp, we'll be sharp with our rope and we can put our name down at the next one or go under the next roping and and it's going to be like we never missed a beat. My horses down here in Arizona, I, I recently bought a place and and they've had a long winter, a lot of practicing, a lot of jackpotting, I mean a lot of heat put on them and it's been really good and I'm fortunate that we got this down here and it's been a huge blessing to, to my family and I. And, that being said, though, I've, I've kind of backed off uh, the rope in the last week or so. I've sent my good horses back to Colorado, and and I still got a couple down here. But uh, just kind of giving them a little break, a little breath of fresh air. And I've been going to the lake. I've been learning how to wakeboard and water ski, and it's been a lot of fun. I've spent a lot of time with some family and friends and, and uh, kind of done some things that may have never got to do with you know without a little uh downtime and in the in my rodeo career but uh it also makes me really look forward to the next week or so when I get back to Colorado I can't wait to get back to roping every day and and uh being a part of what my family does and and uh continue the the legacy but uh yeah that being said you know just enjoy it you know, make sure you're enjoying roping through this downtime because 
If not, I think it could be a, a really rough patch in a, in a roper's life because there's no way to, you know, if you're not roping good, there's no way to go compete and say, man, you know, I'm so glad it come back around and, and I'm roping better and winning or, you know, just, just make sure you're in a good state of mind, you're roping sharp and, and uh, enjoy it, you know. Have fun, spend time with family and friends and and just take it for what it's worth and, and we'll just keep praying and hoping that the the world will go back to what we know it as normal as soon as possible. So well I hope everybody stays safe and you know, stay healthy and enjoy what you're doing in your life. Thank you guys for your time. Thanks, everybody, for listening. I hope you're enjoying these roping lessons. We'll keep bringing them to you every Monday and Friday on The Score as long as the COVID-19 great pause is underway. And hopefully we'll have some more for you when things are back to normal, too. 